All right, guys, I want to talk a little bit about why I'm redoing the gear leg mounts. Um, I'll back up to when I first got the first fuselage kit or the actual airframe kit. Um, I got the uh, gear leg brackets that came in. Of course, they were all raw steel, just like some of the other components that come steel. And so I was anxious to get those out because I figured I'd be needing them right away. So I sent them right out to powder coat. Didn't really look at them a whole lot. Got them back. They looked great. Put them on the shelf. Still didn't really look at them a whole lot. Until I realized that as I got towards putting the gear legs on and the gear brackets, this is the only drawing, this SD75FC03, that shows the gear leg brackets. And I noticed that on here we had this washer, what looks to be a washer, but what that actually is, is it's a welded on washer. So you can see here from the factory or from the Zenair factory, I've been told, this washer is welded on, thickening up this Ford strut area. One of the two brackets that I received, here's one of my original ones that I had powder coated, you can see has the washer as well as the holes drilled out. The other one just had pilot holes and no washer. But me not knowing, not building a kit before, didn't know that that wasn't normal or there was some kind of a different mount on one side. So, you know, again, sent them out to powder coat and they sat on the shelf until I went to put the gear legs on that I realized they were not correct. And why is this important, you might say? Well, this is the right side gear leg bracket. And you can see here, this is the front lower strut attachment bracket. And you can see how this fits on here nice and snug over that with really no play nice and snug in the rear strut bracket which will be rounded and smoothed out fits over the non washered just fine just like that okay that's not the case when you don't have the washer on here so again here's the front that's a no-go the back would have worked okay and sure, you could have maybe put a wash or something in here, but why isn't it done correctly? So, reached out to Zenith, got a brand new set, and that's what I've been working on this week. Um, just got all the holes done, prepped, uh, smoothed out as best I can. Everything fits. Of course, with powder coating, it'll fit even a little snugger. Same thing back here. And so we'll send these out to powder coat, and we'll get these back. Um, one thing I did have to do, you'll notice there's a little drop down here. I'll show you a picture of that in a second, but uh, these were definitely a little bit different size. This bend right here needed to be bent a little bit more because it's sticking out from the airplane a little bit, so I'll have to bend that a little bit more. And this thickness here, I don't know if it's the weld. You notice on this one, the weld pretty much comes straight across the top right here, the same height. This one was quite a bit higher, and then I had to drop it down uh, to make it fit because there's a, a, a screw right here that it ends up hitting if you do not do that so everybody's bracket may be a little bit different i mean i'm sure these are built in a jig you'll also notice that this one has a really nice bead in here as well as in here and the original ones i got had no bead on the inside and a bead here but again not on the inside so there's a little bit of uh, discrepancies between the different gear leg mounts you may want to take a look at yours make sure you have that washer if you're building a super duty check the fitment we've also been told by other builders this washer has been a different size and they've been asked to grind things down we don't want to have to do that these should come from the factory ready to go uh, minus the holes but again check the washer check your fit and you'll be good to go all right here's that screw that i was talking about getting covered up so basically what I'm doing here is with the holes that were already provided in the mount, I'm back drilling from the side holes uh, that were in the fuselage already, the skins, back drilling the metal bracket from the inside out to get the holes lined up, click on those up, and then it was time to start lining up the rivet line or the bolt line that'll be uh, lining up with the screws that were in the fuselage. So just using a straight edge here and uh, creating lines and then getting my rivet or hardware spacing lined out after that.
All right, now I've got my holes lined up. I've got a line drawn there so I can start marking and doing my drilling. You can see that screw again on the top left there. It's uh, getting covered almost by the bracket, so we'll have to notch that out. And I'll show you that a little bit later in the video. Basically had to line up all the holes for the A5 rivets in the rear and the hardware in the front, as well as the channel on the bottom there. That's all gonna have to be lined up and opened up for either rivets or bolts, depending on what the plans call for. This back tab here, this is the part I talked about earlier in the video where it sticks out a little bit, so they didn't quite put enough bend in there. I'll have to do that a little bit later, and we'll get it fitting a little bit tighter. And then, of course, notching this out for uh, clearance around that uh, screw. Everything's opened up to the size it needs to be. I've got a couple holes to drill in here because I've got to get a drill bit that is uh, short enough to fit in my angle drill to hit this angle right here. Same with on this side. But after that, this bracket is ready to be mounted up. Of course, we're going to send it out to powder coat first. Um, and then once we get it back, it's on to the gear installation. Well, hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. If you did, like and subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. Just hit the like button down below. Make sure you subscribe to the Super Duty Build playlist so you don't miss any episodes. And stay tuned because we've got weekly videos coming out as well as probably some bonus videos in the future weeks. Uh, so appreciate you watching. Uh, it's Adam with Aeroworks, and we'll see you in the next video.